the conversation. Tonight, I want you to pay attention. Tonight, I am going to arm you with knowledge that will make some of you cry, that will get some of you pissed vex, and will get you to understand all those videos and all those times that you heard me cuss. It will make you cuss. What I'm about to tell you tonight will make you cuss, will get you upset, will make some of you sad, and plenty of you will look at the chambers of commerce, the churches, the temples, the mosques, the PNM, the UNC, the unions, everybody different. In the movie Black Panther, if you see it by now, block your ears. The anti-hero in Black Panther was more hero than the actual hero. Because he asks one question, and that's why. For the people who try to make fun of black people finding a movie 
that they could resonate with, like they could claim it. There's my superhero movie. Or let me see with your bullshit now. Let the people have their thing. And in that movie, the point was made that this fabled land in Africa had more money than anywhere else. It had more science than anywhere else. And the anti-hero came back to ask one question. If we black and we have all of this, why will that slavery take place? If we black and we have all of this, why we let so much suffering, so much poverty, so much madness take place? Now they don't have a Wakanda. But my friend Ali G compared Trinidad and Tobago to Wakanda. And what I'm about to tell you is going to piss you off. Red, white, black, green, and every shade in between. The name of this video is a matter of trust. And you are going to look back over the generations and decide who could we have really trusted. What I'm about to tell you, if you tell enough people, Politics in Trinidad change. What I'm about to tell you, if you do what you're supposed to do, take this information and share it with everybody. You don't share my video. Fire truck me. I try to tell all you know. Don't like me. Don't love me. Don't follow me. Don't hug me up. Don't come when you see me and take selfie with me. I'm not in this for all of that. This is my job. Because whole day. A wrestling, a wrestling. You see, I put a post. I hate politics just as much as you. Whole day are talking to all the bright, intelligent thinkers I know. I try to get, I try to get to a point where I could understand why I'm still doing this. Because I don't need to do this. I said this morning, having breakfast, I said, without politics, my life have no stress. I could stand up in the bank and say nothing, you know. I could line up like you. 45 minutes, I could take my job. I sit down in the traffic. Don't say nothing. Just keep fixing my business to fly out. Because we don't fix Trinidad. This cesspool, shithole, third world, banana republic, African dictatorship, South American, junta, anything you want to call it. And worse, we there you know. What I'm about to tell you, tag people, you know. You know who I need you to go and find? I need you to find all your PNM and your UNC friends. I want you to tag fellas like David Abdullah. I want you to go and tag all them NJAC people who end up in the People's Partnership. Tag everybody in the, in the Congress and the people, especially Katrin Stolmeyer White and her husband Gregory, who was in the COP that joined the PP, the, the, progress, the um, People's Partnership. Tag them who are going and form PAC now to come and fool you. We're going to wake shit up tonight, you know. Tonight, you're getting some information tonight. Here I'll tell you, I'm going to make a next video after this. Get out your pen. Make some notes. Then have a quiz. You go on this information. Make some notes what I'm about to tell you. We started in 2005. Only there, only ready. Only ready. Only settle down. I can play some more music and wait, you know. If you want, I will do that. I'll play some more music. And we're going to wait until all they're ready. Until all they tell me all they're ready. Because tonight, this could be the last video. This video is supposed to make 100,000 Philip Alexanders. The game's supposed to change. This video is supposed to change it. You will look at Trinidad and Tobago different. You will look at this entire country different. Only let me know when all they're ready. Because I hear we have time. Progress is impossible without change. And those who can't change their minds can't change anything. You can't change what's going on around you until you start changing what's going on within you. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. In the words of George Bernard Show, your tango, Mahatma Gandhi. If you can look as far as I see 
Within this great land we call tea and tea. There's birds and bees, rivers and seas. Pretty woman bringing man to their knees. Treasures of this blessed really land we always neglect like rice. Right. So and call man, people out. I find it so strange the way we are rich. Still this nation don't know how to change. Tag him or Ramki soon. Because whoever on here must show tomorrow, I want him to ask these questions. I am about to give Trinidad and Tobago more information in one hour than our education system has given our people in the past 50 years. I'm giving it to you in one hour. Tag Fazir Mohammed. Fazir is going to need to ask his guests tomorrow what I'm about to tell you. He is going to need to discuss this. Stefan from Breaking Dawn. Tag Stefan. We need everybody on the same page tomorrow, from tonight. You see, we can't continue like this. The first song I play, a madman's rant. And if we continue having a conversation with people and they're not understanding the extent of what was done in this country, they will never know. You cannot convince people outside of the sphere of the level of intelligence they bring into the conversation. When Albert Einstein said, you cannot solve a problem operating at the same level you were operating at when you created it, he wasn't complimenting you. When Bob Marley wrote, emancipate yourself from mental slavery none but ourselves can free our minds he wasn't talking nigger white man politics you know he was talking people politics that you cannot get anywhere until you unshackle your own mind until you remove the blinkers this boy Sergio wrote on my wall today, people following shadows for so long they can't tell that the light real. That's that deep. That deep, Jonathan Sergio, go to the head of the, you'd rather come to the next meeting. Jonathan Sergio, you graduate. You graduate. Trinidadians taking shadows for so long. They can't tell light from light, from darkness. Let me talk. Anytime. You only I'm making notes to Get a pen and a paper. Anytime. I'm going too fast. Because you see, when I tell Trinidad and Tobago certain things, other people just want to get vexed, take Philip to court, threaten Philip's life. They don't want you all to know what you're about to know. Make sure you share this video. Save it. Save this information. This video is going to be available on Facebook and on YouTube. Between 2005, I'm not going to the whole 56 years of Trinidad and Tobago. I'm not. I'm not going back to Eric Williams who spent a billion dollars on a currently racing complex that barely get a foundation and the billion dollars gone. I ain't going as far back as they. I ain't going back to Johnny O'Halloran and Owai and Poon Tip and them fellas and the gas station rackets. I ain't going back to there now. I'm going back to what bill the foreshore freeway, my Syrian partner in the insurance industry. I'm going back to the waterfront towers, central bank. I even reach Hyatt. I'm going Mount Hope, you know. Mount Hope, bill for 20 times the cost. I'm even going there. I'm going there. I'm going to tell you about 12 years out of 56. So I tell you about 12 years. Out of 56, and you ain't get upset. I could done now. I could say it done. I'll tell you why. Because I could tell you all the solutions possible. And you still choose otherwise. It is no longer my responsibility. I was told. When I used to have a problem giving money to sprangers. You know them, you see them. And I mean the police, eh? Anywhere they have sprangers... Begging by a traffic light, by a corner, anywhere they have coke addicts. This is to my friends in the police service. Anywhere they have coke addicts begging, 300 feet radius. The coke block right there. Them sprangers in taxi nowhere. 
Them begging now to get a rock now to like the. That's it, you know. So I'm come back and beg now. Hi, and I want to get higher. That's how they live. Errol Fabian and them fellas could guide you and they could tell you police service. For sure, freeway. When you see they have sprang us begging right there, somewhere right wrong there. They're sharing, they're selling rocks. And you could go and get the rock seller. And the rock seller is not the one you want to jail. Deal like how Mueller prosecuting Trump. Slowly but surely. Get Mr. Rock Seller. And let Mr. Rock Seller take it to Mr. Rock Wholesaler. And lock he up. And let Mr. Rock Wholesaler take it to Mr. Rock Distributor. All of a sudden, you come out of them dark and dingy areas. Place that to get a little bright. Let, when you lock up Mr. Rock Distributor, he will sing like a canary. Who is Mr. Cocaine Importer? That's the guy you want. That's the start of the food chain. Cut that off. Take those hands off the game and the game done. But anyway, I want to get sidetracked at all. 2005 to 2018. This country has spent 720 billion dollars. You don't know what that means. I know. But you don't know. You're going to know tonight. 720 billion dollars. Do you hear it, Mateka? Follow me. That's 720,000 million dollars. In 12 years, we've spent Seven hundred and twenty thousand million dollars, and I know that don't mean nothing to nobody. Let's look at what it means. Out of that seven hundred and twenty billion, a lot of money. Eh? If you took one hundred billion dollars, that's a lot of money. That's one hundred thousand million dollars. If out of that 720 billion, you had take 100 billion dollars, we could have had a falling per side highway to Tobago, back and forth, earning real money. Because people who are paid to go on the boat and they are lined up to go on the plane, it's 100 dollars for one way, and you will make billions of dollars on this investment. That hundred billion dollars is your seed money. If it costs three hundred billion, you're making back that money. You're making back that money. And there are people in the world that want that investment bad. You see like how them sprangers need that rock? There are people in the world that have that kind of money. China, Brazil, India, France, England, Canada, America. That want you to say, this is a three hundred billion dollar project. We have a hundred billion dollars. If you come up with two hundred billion, we will split with you the entire toll that we make on this bridge every day. We will split that toll with you every day, 50-50, until you get back your full investment. You put your two hundred billion, we will split the toll with you 50-50 for as long as it takes. For you to get back your 200 billion and after that we will split with you perpetually 75 25 trinidad will keep 75 percent you will get 25 percent for coming on board as an investment you see that's what will bring them and that is what will keep them for 100 billion dollars we could have built a bridge to tobago it could have been done since manning all the people who want to tell you because I was the first person to be talking about this and had this published in the papers. All the people who tell you that the engineering doesn't exist, I want you to understand, they built, they built an oil rig the other day. The feet that it stands on, taller than the Empire State Building. You're telling me, the feet that this stands on, 
taller than the Empire State Building. China just built a bridge four times the span to what we want to build to Tobago. So they're going to tell you, and they have, they have a lot of ways besides the tolls, that that will make plenty money. And you need to understand that the only reason that you do have, because the $720 billion we're talking about, not in a bank account somewhere, no. Kamala know where it is. Manning know. Manning went to his grave knowing. But Kamala know and Rowley know. They know all the people who thief this money. We don't call it thief. We call it inflated contracts, cost overruns. We call it matters before the courts. But this is what we're dealing with. $720 billion. And next hundred billion, just because we licorice. Just because we licorice. And I take our next hundred billion and connect Canada to South America. Arabella Bridge to Venezuela. Because with a bridge to Venezuela, Venezuela will not always be like this. But with a bridge to Venezuela, we just took Trinidad in a heartbeat into the first world. Because Venezuela have a lot of resources. And Venezuela has a lot. But we, we would have been having this conversation before Venezuela reached the shithole status as it is. But at some point, Venezuela will be again a first world nation. At some point, this can't continue forever. They want Chavez and Maduro and all of them out. And then look at Cuba. A song about Havana is in the top 10. Once they get their way politically, the country good again. And a connection to that. And a connection to the South American mainland. You could have get in your car and drive to Argentina. Imagine that. We still have 500 billion dollars. That don't sound like a lot of money. Let me tell you what 500 billion dollars could buy. Eh? Let me get let me let me make some notes. So we connected to Tobago and we connected to Venezuela and we have 500 billion dollars. This is only the money that was stolen, misdirected, misappropriated since Manning, Kamler, and now Rowley. You see, when they tell you, Phil, join up with this one and join up with that one, or they think I just have bad mind. I don't have bad mind, I have a long memory. And I can't come and sit with crooks, criminals, thieves, and bandits and pretend that I'm doing something for my country. I prefer to call it a day and leave. One starter home, you could get starter homes built in Trinidad, built complete $50,000. 50000 But we overestimate a starter home, 1,100 square feet, two bedrooms, outfitted, kitchen. You have electricals, you have plumbing. You have a roof over your head, safe windows, doors. It's called a starter home for a reason. I want you to hear it, Mateka. If a hundred thousand dollars builds one starter home, one million dollars builds ten. One hundred million dollars builds a thousand. One billion dollars builds ten thousand. Ten billion dollars builds one hundred thousand starter homes. Ten billion. That builds. 100,000 starter homes. You know how much homes the HDC says that it needs? Now I know they have duplications. You don't need 100,000 homes. But the HDC says it needs 100,000 homes. $10 billion. That leaves you with 490. We ain't giving these homes away, you know. These people will pay back for their homes. Again, this is investment. If children don't want to spend the $10 billion, India will come and build. If the state makes land available for housing, like it made land available for Bayside Towers, like it made land available for Movie Town, if the, like it made land available for Grand Bazaar, if the state made land available for development, it can build 100,000 houses on the ground. We will run out of land. But you can develop. And you will make sure that every single person in this country that wants to have a home can. That's only $10 billion, you know. You've just built 100,000 starter homes. You've just put everybody in a home who say they can't afford a home. All of those people are going to pay back for their homes $500 a month. Because we're giving you zero deposit, zero interest, 30 years. But you will pay. 
$500 a month. Now, the minimum wage earner, that's who they start a home is for. It ain't like them and the stunt in West Morins that they build opposite Victoria Gardens to play HDC that's supposed to be dealing with poor people, get into the middle class market and told the taxpayers to subsidize the homes of some well-heeled people. That is the madness that you all just let pass. Because Victoria Keys was built with state funds that can never come back. And they are selling those apartments to friends, family, finances, and, and contractors. Reduce price. Subsidize. You are paying other people fancy apartment. You can't buy a home. With your taxes, you are paying it. $10 billion just took care of that. We have $490 billion. We have, this is Manning, Kamala, Keith. All you could tell me, listen, PNM, UNC, all you could ring all your navel after this and tell me what all you really think was done with that $720 billion. But I'm telling you what could have been done. We have, no, 720, we only spent two. We still have $510 billion. $510 billion. Round it off to 500 a man. Throw away our next 100,000 house. We have $500 billion. This is Jess, Manning, Kamala. No Rowley. We are the money. We in recession. Call money. Lie to you and tell you all of this. Out of that $500 billion, this is what else we need. There are 200,000 children at school at any given time in Trinidad. If we are to believe the statistics that says 20,000 children do SEA. They are 10 years of school, 20,000 coming up to SEA and 20,000 going forward from SEA leads us to 200,000. 200,000 children. If we build 41 constituencies, purpose-built schools at a hundred million dollars, at a hundred million dollars a school. Now, here in Mumbai, talking about that, eh? because if you build a school which is basically beams, columns, roof, floor, foundation, electrical, plumbing, windows, doors, chairs, tables, that is a school, right there. That's a school. Everything else after that is equipment and personnel. At a hundred million dollars. Per school, for each billion dollars, we could build one hundred schools. One hundred by a hundred is ten thousand. We could build a thousand schools. One billion dollars. What else you have to do? 41 mini hospitals. We call them accident and emergency. 24-7, complete with minor surgery suite that could stabilize heart attack, stroke. Last night, deputy political leader of the Progressive Empowerment Party, Sarah Nabi, had to be rushed to hospital. At the same time, ironically, health care advisor, Carla Jean, in Florida, found herself needing an ambulance. While Sarah Nabi was spending hours trying to negotiate herself past the screeners, the security, the nurses, and whatever the junior doctors are called, within two minutes in Florida, an ambulance came, picked up Carla Jean, took her to a hospital, sent her through emergency. In three and a half hours, she was tested, diagnosed, Treated and discharged. In those three and a half hours, Sarah Nabi was still standing up outside the hospital. Found herself inside the hospital to get a CT scan because the doctor who admitted her said, you have to get a CT scan. 24 hours later, she still don't know what is the result of that CT scan. The doctor don't know and everybody flying blind. This is Trinidad Tobago. If you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. We could have built 41 
constituency hospitals. It doesn't have to have more than 10 rooms. Our health care plan cancelled that amalgamated security global medical response contract and privatized to the constituencies. Each of the constituencies, their constituency board of supervisors owns their equipment. So Diego Martin was responsible for Diego Martin West three ambulances. But there would be three ambulances distributed throughout Diego Martin West. I took a video in Diego Martin at the start of Crystal Stream Highway. You could have pelt a stone from it and hit the fire station. I took a video. It got hundreds of thousands of views. I stood up there for an hour as citizens compressed a woman's chest, CPR, for one hour a victim of an accident who died waiting on the ambulance at the start of Crystal Stream Highway. You could jump on your bicycle and ride from there to the Port of Spain General Hospital in 15 minutes. She waited for an hour and died. And what they send is van drivers. They don't have paramedics. They don't have a system where while the ambulance is loading, because if you see how it is done in first world countries, eh, these people have bags packed. Bags packed, big bags packed, different colors or different numbers, different tags, depending on the area. Bags packed. Then when the call come in and the alarm go off in the space where the ambulance, the drivers and the paramedics are, when the alarm go off, what coming across over the speaker is code and information as to everything. Address, name of patient, address, what the person suffering with. So while, they, while the driver running to start the ambulance, the paramedics running to grab his heart attack. They grab the heart attack bag that come in with all them things for heart attack. Or they grab the stroke, they grab the sleep bike, they grab the dismemberment. It's an accident, it's a road, it's a, it's a traffic accident, bad accident. They grab that and they head in there while the driver driving, paramedic in the back, talking to the person who talking to the patient or the person who called for the patient and preparing, you know, the person bleeding out through this. They, they, they think they may have a broken back, the stabilizer board come out. When the ambulance stop and the doors open, when you see it on TV, it's no joke. When they jump out with everything they need in their hand, it's because all on the way, they are preparing for you. Now you imagine Trinidad and Tobago. We spend on an ambulance service that sends vans with stretchers to load you up and take you to the general hospital and wait. Now we all just wait. See what happens next. If they will allow you in. The Progressive Empowerment Party's plan is to build 41 constituency hospitals. We call them accident and emergency centers. That's what we call them. But they complete with minor surgery suite. 10 rooms for overnights. Because if you, do, if, you, if you talk to the actuarians, they will tell you what are the statistics, what you will need. Because the purpose of those rooms is for overnight. Treat, stabilize and send you on your way. That's what it is. If it is something that requires an extended stay, the hospital has its own ambulance. Dedicated ambulance. It don't respond to calls. It's the hospital's ambulance. And it's job now because you've come there and they've, treat, they've, they've treated you. They've stabilized you. But they can't handle you. This requires major surgery, extended stay. They could know, and this is 24-7. They're still closed. They could now ship you to a big hospital. But the system, all of a sudden, makes sense. That no matter where you are in Trinidad and Tobago, that an ambulance will be no more than five to seven minutes away from you. That from the moment you call, the call center that you are calling, they are trained to ask you critical information. They want proper direction so that they could plug a GPS for your location to the driver, the van practically driving itself because turn here, turn here, 120 feet, turn here, that's what they're operating with because the call center taking directions from you 
and they plug in that into the directions GPS in the vehicle. And while the call center, while they're talking to you because they don't hang up with you until the ambulance reach you. Give me some information or until they have all the information. Tell me more. Tell me what else is going on. Tell me what else you think is going on. How do you feel? Stay with me. Give me some more information. They're with you right through till the bus pull up. We've spent $720 billion. Out of that $720 billion on the Manning, Kamala, and Rowley, we spent $60 billion on healthcare. $60 billion. $60 billion would build 41 hospitals, provide three ambulances per constituency, 123 ambulances, and leave change back. Our budget costs for fifth call, call for 50 billion. They spend 60 and have nothing to show for it. Nothing, nothing, nothing to show for it. If you're on the North Coast and you get in trouble, Dog eat your supper. If you in Blanche shares and you get a heart attack, they're making sense. Because they have no way for them to treat you in Blanche shares. But imagine within a three mile radius, a dedicated paramedic equipped ambulance that could respond to you and stabilize you. stabilize you when he gets you when the paramedic gets you the call shifts from the call center to the hospital they now patch the paramedic through to the hospital the paramedic is now relayed to the crisis and emergency center all of your vital statistics. We are on the way. We are three minutes out. We have a gunshot wound victim, GSW. We have a gunshot wound victim. Vital signs, pressure, blood pressure, everything. The people who are about to receive you in the emergency room, just like how the van pack for you, they prepare for you. So as that stretcher come off the van, while you're being stabilized on that stretcher, it goes straight into the emergency room and they lift you off of that, switch out all the gear that belongs to the paramedics. They have to go and fill out a form with the, with the um, information people from this reception to give them all the information as to how you got here and what information they had on you. Head back to, head back to the station. For the chef, as they walk. For the chef, they reach back and they have to go through the system now. They're back in the station. The emergency room has you. The paramedic reach back in his station and he opens that bag again and they have a checklist of everything that's supposed to be in that bag. And they're going to account for everything that they used for your situation. They're supposed to have 12 syringes. They use four they replace four, and that checklist and everything balanced back at the end of the night, seal back that bag, and it's ready for the next gunshot wound, the next heart attack. And Trinidad and Tobago spent more money than big cities spent. We could have been in a situation, think about it, you're in a country that has 10 prestige schools, 900 failing schools. You're in a country that has four major hospitals all failing you think we have such a vibrant private hospital industry it is a multi-billion dollar industry st Clair, west shore the one by the stadium building in valsane up in st joseph down by gulf city massive massive private hospitals why you think those exist those exist because our medical system, our healthcare sector, that we've spent $60 billion on the Manning, Kamala, and Rowley has nothing to show for it. And when, when the UNC cheapers start to tell you, but what about the Cuba Children Hospital? That was built by the Chinese. 
for 10 times the cost that that hospital should have been built for. And you ought to pay for that. Whether Rowley and Kamala stunt the ass till they're dead about whether to open it or close it, it doesn't matter. If Kamala had opened it, it was theft. If Rowley opened it, it's still theft. The money that's spending to build that hospital is 10 times. China know why they're building that massive embassy in Trinidad, you know. Trinidad like a pregnant cow and China here to milk. And I want to find out what China doing with perpetuate. But that's a, that's a story for another conversation. But I'm telling you, the purpose of this video tonight is to get you upset. We could have built, with the remaining $450 billion, we could have built, yeah, nah, $450 billion. Look what we do. We rebuild all the schools. We build 41 hospitals. We have a bridge to Tobago and a bridge to Venezuela. And we still have $450 billion. Trinidadians sit in traffic every single day. 200,000 Trinis sit in traffic morning and evening for hours because all of the important offices of state operate in Port of Spain. Now you tell me, when Manning was going to build all the madness Manning built in Port of Spain, you think Manning didn't know that the sensible thing to do was to take that money and build a government campus in the center of the island? equidistant from all four corners of Trinidad. Make a mirror version in Tobago. So Tobagonians don't have to get on a boat to come to Trinidad to get a passport. Or a bird paper. Or a deed. A hundred billion dollars could build a new city of government campuses with renewable energy, parks, cycling trails, in concentric rings, design, office buildings equipped with locker rooms and showers for the people who work in there, who want to run to work, saving the carbon footprint, run to work, saving healthcare costs because this person is healthy. They're not contributing to greenhouse gases. And they're not going to end up in the hospital at 40 and 50 because they're fit and they're healthy. Imagine buildings. You're building purpose-built office buildings where the workers could cycle to work, run to work, walk to work. Because around those concentric rings of this new city, you build residential areas, residential towers, buildings. For the people who work in these offices, who would like to live closer to where they work, you sell them at subsidized. Because again, the closer they live to work, the less chance of us contributing to the greenhouse gases. You know at, at one point, Curep Interchange, Curep, not Interchange, Curep Junction in Trinidad was the most polluted place on the planet for lead. Curep, Trinidad and Tobago. We famous for a lot of things here. You're down to $350 billion. You've rebuilt a purpose-built city. First world standard. Green. I mean, 50% of it is, is, is plant life. You build it like a campus so that people could come outside during the day, even if it raining. They have covered spaces, have their lunch, socialize. A workspace so conducive to proper functioning and thinking that all of a sudden the public service starts to work at such an extremely high level because these people will be paid well. You know, you, this plan saves so much money that you could pay your public servants well and they would have an extra interest in keeping that job. And you, the, the private sector service that you want from the public service comes from this, comes from treating the actual people that work for you with respect. It's not about job for life. It's about quality job. Defend it. Defend it. Keep that job. Make sure that you're deserving of that job. Newport, Singapore have no natural resources. Singapore and Trinidad and Tobago started off at the same time. Singapore is a first world nation. Trinidad is a failed state. 
All Singapore has is a world-class port. Trinidad, because of its location between North America and South America and Central America, we should have a first of world-class port as well. We were always supposed to. But the port that we have, for some reason, this arithmetic never add up to me. But if you go back into the Auditor General report, go back decades, that port loses a billion dollars a year. How could a port that is so heavily subsidized lose a billion dollars a year? How could it not be making money? What are we doing wrong? And why don't we go to the places in the world where they do port business? Go to Singapore and ask them, come and teach us. Come and help us. We're willing to spend $50 billion. We're down to $300 billion. But we just build a port the size of Singapore port. Singapore handles in an hour, more shipping traffic than we have in a year. But we could build. You see, that port we have a vision for. I know you all hear it, and you don't understand what we're talking about. But shipping is such a massive industry that if Trinidad became a player in the shipping, we don't have to own no ships, you know. All we have to provide is shipping turnaround and burden facilities, exchange facilities. What going here, that going there, this ship coming from here, but he going so, but this goods want to go so. Stop and try to be with one or one, take off all the containers that going so, because that ship coming to pick that up. That have money in it. This is not shipping that have anything to do with Trinidad, you know. This is Trinidad being an international player in international shipping. And shipping turnaround is a multi-billion dollar. That investment in that port will take all of the container traffic out of Port of Spain, will, will create a first world port that we will be able to control what is coming out for Trinidad. We will be able to unstuff all the containers because we, we would have built our maritime security wall. We would have had a secure nation and all the containers are coming off the ship. And I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to ask Trinidad and Tobago because with this done, with the ports done, we build a hundred thousand house, we build the bridge to Tobago, we build the bridge to Venezuela, we build 41 mini hospital, we build a new city in the center of the island, and we still have 300 billion dollars. Where's our money? Where are our bridges? Where's our purpose built capital city? Where are our 41 hospitals? Where are our schools for our children? Where are they? Where's the money? Is it in all the Ferraris and Mercedes Benz driving around this country and all these stunters flying to LA with the private jets? Is that what happened to our money? Why aren't you upset? Why aren't you upset? $720 billion in 12 years means each constituency should have gotten $18 billion worth of development. Did Lavantel East get $18 billion worth of development in the last 12 years? Did Lavantel West? Did Morva? Did Port of Spain East? Port of Spain South? When you're talking about what's going on in Nelson Street and Charlotte Street and lock it down and shoot them, the reason they so is because their share of the national pie has been stolen by people in shirts and ties. And they with a stupid, uneducated, failed PNM education bullshit self and the ease with which gun flowing through Cedrus. They're just trying to get their peace back, you know. Them want Ferrari life too. They don't know how to enunciate it because you've left them stupid. You've left them without recourse. But this country, just in the last 12 years alone, spent enough money to make major nations shame. Trinidad and Tobago, from an infrastructural development point of view alone, should have, should have been the pearl of the Western world. If our airport, what Ish and Steve and Brian and them built, the thief out the money, what they built, that cow shed, for that two billion dollars. You imagine if we had built a proper international airport. China is building an airport right now. It looks like a steel band, a steel band from the sky. That airport is going to be dealing with one million passengers a day. 
It is like the whole of Trinidad go to the airport at the same time. That's what they're building right now. Imagine if we had spent $5 billion and built a proper international airport for connecting flights worldwide. Imagine that. Instead of that madness pan they build. So all the people who want to tell me they like Silver Fox Grin. I'm not looking for friends to drink and talk shit with. I'm looking for a Prime Minister. I'm looking for a highly paid, highly placed public servant to deal with the management of my country. What we've taken from these parties is rape, pillage, plunder and bullshit and more bullshit. Every time Keith Rowley opens his mouth, it's bullshit. Every time Kamala answers him, it's more bullshit. How much more bullshit are we going to take? How much more? When will Hema Ramke soon? People want to know why I'm vexed. When will Hema Ramke soon ask Fitzgerald Hines? Fitz, your government has been in power. Where is Lavantil East $18 billion? Where is Lavantil West $18 billion? Because if that $36 billion, $36,000 million was spent on Lavantil East and Lavantil West, all the crime in this country done. Just that. Just that. Imagine out of this $300 billion remaining, you take money and transform the jails into universities. But you wouldn't need them because your education system and your jobs programs give all the people hope and opportunity. Your maritime security wall stop the flow of drugs and guns and human trafficking. All of a sudden, it becomes practically impossible to commit crime in Trinidad and Tobago. All of a sudden, zero tolerance on crime and a proper functioning justice system that deals with civil matters in under three years and criminal matters in under five. If you do a referendum and the nation say, hang people on death row, you need to bring the matter in all appeals and everything under five years to qualify under Pratt and Morgan. And for the people who tell you, vacate Pratt and Morgan, leave the Privy Council, don't put God out on your thoughts. This country too easy to corrupt. It's too easy to corrupt. I don't want Trinidad to leave the Privy Council. I still think that is the last thread holding us to sanity. The last thread is the Privy Council. I don't care about the CCJ. Don't tell me about it. Stunt otherwise. Pay them. Put the Privy Council on retainer. So they're saying, boy, we want to give all your, we want to deal with we pay you for the service. Look, big money. We need you. Until we are a grown-up, first-world nation, until we are a functional country that can take care of our own affairs, we need you. That's what you and I need to be talking about. What's passing for politics in this country tonight? Because, because if I tell you, and you can do it yourself, $720 billion dollars, Google is an amazing tool. You could find out how much to build a school. You see, they tell you, well, that is America. Understand this. If it's $100 million to build a high school in America, and you want to build 50 high schools, that's $5 billion. You could contact the school builders in America and say, would you like to build 50 schools in my country? Because I have $5 billion. Work with everything. Work with everything. Gillen and Rahal and them build a whole tower down in... In, in, in shorelands, out of containers, they park up on Catalan by Iconoka. The whole building come down in parts. Renaissance Tower, Rowley, Rowley Tower. That Rowley can explain how a tower touching the sky was built on land that had a covenant that it couldn't be built higher than 35 feet. All of them that want to play, they want a dirty people name. They have nothing good that has passed as governance in this country. You have been victims of theft for all of these years. But what is worse, by your vote, you've been accomplices. You just didn't get your cut. You didn't get your cut. Your co-conspirators are after the fact. When they come to tell you, this is the bullshit that you're supposed to focus on, you're supposed to tell them, friend, tell me what you're doing with the money. What is your development plan for Trinidad and Tobago? For home ownership, for, for education, for health care, for food production. What is your traffic plan? What are your plans that takes Trinidad from shithole, cesspool, third world status and takes us to first world nation? Why would you need 20 years? 
Why would Vision 2020 take Manning from 2005, 15 years? Why would Rowley need to go from 20, 2015 to 2030? Why would you need 15 years for something that you could do in five? All of this money, do you know it still exists? And do you know that all of this money, because we have assets and resources and we could make money, listen eh? Our pitch lake and our tourism and our oil and gas could still mine this country, you know. Agriculture. When you bring agriculture into the mix, you could mine this country, you know. And then when you talk things like international airport and international shipping turn around and you talk about cruise ship tourism and you build bridges that saves us money. Because every time we spend money in this direction, we save money in that direction and then we earn profit. I need you to start to think at this level. And I need you to go out there in the conversation and ask, Manning, Kamala, Rowley, what did you do with our $720 billion between 2005 and now? Give us an accounting. Don't give me a bullshit spreadsheet. Point to me and show me of $720 billion dollars spent in the last 12 years what do we the people of Trinidad and Tobago have to show us that's where you have to go Hospitals are shit. Our schools are shit. We grow nothing. Our airport is a cesspool. Our ports is a denizen of corruption and theft. What do we have to show for $720 billion in the last 12 years? We have no infrastructure. Our drains don't handle the water. When it is rainy season, we still don't have water in the taps. When it is dry season, it's worse. We have no water distribution, no water management. And when it rains, it floods. Our roads cannot handle the traffic that is on the roads. Bad planning, bad design, bad management. Our roads are impassable in many situations. What do we, as a people, as a nation, have to show on the Manning, Kamala and Rowley alone, just those three, where's the 720 billion dollars that you all spent? Where is it? Patrick Manning and all your inheritors, Kamala Passard Bissessa, Keith Rowley, where is this nation's 720 billion dollars? You all were the stewards, you are currently the steward of the economy. You are responsible for the nation's money. Where is the people's $720 billion? If I look around for everything that was done under Manning, Kamala, and now Rowley, I can't find $20 billion. Where is the rest of the money? Where is the people's money? 
Where is Morva, Bitam, and Lavantel and Silot's money? Where is their money? Where is Enterprise and Embaka their money? And Scorpion, Begad, and, and, and Kokorit, and Waterhole, and Bagatelle, and Rich Plain, and where the, where the money? Where's the money? Because everything that is wrong in this country can be traced right back to the fact that your three governments have mismanaged, misappropriated, and stolen the people's money. So I'm asking you again, I'm asking all the people viewing this, ask the governments, ask the apologists, ask the talking heads, ask the media, where is the $720 billion, the $720,000 million that was spent in the last 12 years? Where is it? That is the question you have to be asking. The governments can't wiggle free. Kamala can't come back until she account. PNN should not be in office. We need to understand that as long as we have criminal gangs running the country, we have nowhere to go. You playing that you getting caught up with shiny things and bullshit. You bacchanaling and, and talking nonsense for two political parties that have you distracted by the texture of your hair while they robbing you blind. What will it take for the people of this country to wake up and understand that Manning, Kamala and Rowley are responsible for the $720 billion missing? Where is it? What was it spent on? Account to the nation. Account to the people of Tran Tobago. And if Hema Ramkisun and Fazir Mohammed had any self-respect or journalistic ethics, they would ask in the morning, Stefan Rees, I'm asking you to ask on breaking dawn in the morning, where is the $720 billion that was spent in this country in the last 12 years? Forget the rest. 56 years too hard to consider. Where is the $720 billion that was spent in Trinidad and Tobago in the last 12 years? Show us what we got for that. Trinidad and Tobago, you have a responsibility to yourself. The nations that work in this world, the people don't play the ass with their country. The nations that work in this world don't take bullshit from the government. The nations that work in this world, the people not lazy with the democracy. The, the countries that work in this world, the people are not hypocrites and racist and talk shit for shit's sake. You want a country that works, get yourself involved. I talked to a woman this morning in the bank and I'm trying to explain to her that honey, if you leave the bank today and you go home and your house on fire, all your plans change. You have a new plan, out the fire. That's our situation in Trinidad and Tobago. I don't know what else to tell you again, you know. All the people of this country, if all of us don't wake up and stand together as one people under one flag, stop taking the destruction. Stop being so easily conned. It is a matter of trust. Who can you trust? Ask them. I am willing. I am willing to stand up and question. Manning, well, Manning dead, but calm still there. Who was Manning? Who was Manning? Ministers of Finance, Conrad Enel, Mariano Brown, they go on to join pact. I will ask them in pact. I want to ask Larry Hawaii under Kamala. I want call member to explain to the nation where is this country's $720 billion? What did we spend it on? What do we have to show for it? PepTrinbago at gmail.com PepTT.com 3474PEP We have an app, the Pep app, PEP, APP available on all the app stores. Free of charge to download. Make yourself at home. This Saturday at noon, 19 Stanmore Avenue, we're going through this budget in fine detail. I want you to come and see what a first world school would look like and how all, all 200,000 of this nation's children should be going to school tomorrow on, in proper facilities, air-conditioned classrooms, interconnected in his own Ministry of Education internet, run by proper trained principals, supervised by proper trained teachers. All of a sudden, the things start to make sense. Healthcare, where none of our people have to wait 24 hours for a CT scan, if you're lucky. Imagine Sarah Nabi, lucky that she get a CT scan in 24 hours. They have people who get a name put down on a list for three years in this country. My brother-in-law just get an MRI, it cost him $8,000. What we spend our $60 billion in healthcare on? Where's that money? 
Where is it? Where is the 60 billion spent on education? All our classrooms, all our schools are shitholes. Where is that money? Every carnival, St. Mary's, QRC, all them are be throwing party to find money to fix the, the hole in the roof. Where is the money going? Where is it? Where is the money? Trinidad and Tobago, you are surrounded by criminals, crooks, and thieves in white collars that gather together in chambers of commerce and piss on your back. It is time all of you stood up and asked, where is this country's money? Until I see you again, stay safe, Trinidad and Tobago.